Working from home has its perks, right? Well, you can work on your laptop, right in your bed. You can do it in your PJs. But some health experts are now warning that those habits could land you with aches and with pains. How to make your home office work for you? That's today's Once for Wellness. Here's Karen Borda. But when the pain hits you, that's when you realize what mistakes you have made. Mohit Jalori speaks from experience. I have had issues in the past where I would have pain in neck and shoulder area, and that was very much attributed to poor posturing while I'm working at office. The Irving resident works eight to nine hours a day sitting at a desk. So when the work at home orders came down, he knew his current setup wasn't cutting it. People are starting to become a little uncomfortable, to be honest, working from home. Dr. Nikki Weiner is head of Rising Workplace, a company that provides ergonomic assessments. The other physical complaint that we're hearing a lot about is this kind of upper back and shoulder and dominant arm pain. And that is probably from like working at a kitchen table or working in a chair that's not adjustable by height, because then that causes one to reach up to work. She says at the minimum, have a designated workspace at home, something with a table and a good chair. You want to make sure that your back is supported. So you could do this by just using a small pillow behind your back, your lower back, or using a towel roll and positioning it at your lower back. Second, make sure your feet are resting on the floor. If you are using a laptop, have somewhere in storage an external mouse and keyboard, go ahead and pull that out. Raising the screen to eye level using a box or a stack of books can relieve the stress on the neck and shoulders. That's a good setup um, using just things around the house. Wiener says whatever you do, try to make sure you maintain a neutral pose. When you're sitting or standing, you want to have ears over shoulders, over hips, meaning everything is in a line. You want to have your arms relaxed at your side. So no upward reaching because that's that sustained muscle contraction that over time is going to cause an inflammatory response. Jalori ended up getting a virtual consultation for his home office. He's since invested in an ergonomic chair. Long or short haul, I just wanted to get this done because I know I've been through that pain before. Karen Borda, CBS 11 News. <laughs> so many people right now watching and saying, oh, okay, so that's what we need to do. Well, health experts say it's important to take frequent breaks also, so keep that in mind. Changing positions every 30 minutes, they say, works wonders. They also recommend following the 20-20-20 rule to stretch your eyes, which is every 20 minutes. Look at something 20 feet away for about 20 seconds.